want to send a special treat to your loved one? Why not try making this chocolate heart box? It's really easy to make and so cute. You just melt some white chocolate. We're using buttons, but it doesn't matter. You can easily find these cool shaped silicone molds on the internet. We're using a heart shaped mold, of course. So we've just poured our melted chocolate into that mold, completely coating the sides as well, and then just chill it. Once it's set, it's really easy to just peel off the mould and there you have it. We're going to use some white chocolate ganache piped on. It's going to act as a sort of glue to stick on our decorations. We're adding some sprinkles, pearl sprinkles to be precise, but you can use whatever you like. And then adding some fondant flowers and butterflies. few more sprinkles and it looks absolutely beautiful we're going to get a box to display it in we're adding strawberry candies and chocolates and then just stick your white chocolate heart box over the top close it up what a brilliant gift this would make don't you think now here's the fun part get a hammer and smash it all in Ooh, delicious and you can eat the box too! Can't decide which colour to use to decorate your cake with? Well, why not use all of them with this fantastic colour gradation cake? Start by rolling out some white fondant icing and then using a stencil to press in a lovely pattern. Just roll it over with a rolling pin. Beautiful! Using a cookie cutter, you can cut out a butterfly shape. And we're painting on some edible gold powder. Excellent! Just chill that so it sets and meanwhile get lots of bowls of buttercream icing and lots and lots and lots of food colouring because we're going to make some colourful buttercream icing just like a rainbow. Right now we get our plain cake, we're using vanilla but you can use whichever cake you like. Fill it with buttercream icing and layer it and then coat it in buttercream icing too. Smooth it out. Ready to decorate. Using a toothpick you're going to create a spiral pattern on the top. Now time to decorate. So we've put our different coloured buttercream icing in food piping bags. We're using a very thin nozzle to put tiny dollops on varying the colour so we do a kind of fading effect morphing from one kind of shade into the next so we've gone from light to dark purple then light to dark blue then morphing into more turquoisey and green colours this wonderful gradation of colours going on here yellow next you can, of course, use whichever colours you prefer and in any order you prefer or even do the same kind of idea but do a picture or perhaps make your favourite animal on it or just your favourite thing or even a rainbow. We're doing a spiral because we think that works quite well when you're doing colour gradation like this. So we've gone dark orange now into pink and just keep going around your spiral shape into red so a little bit of patience may be needed for this kind of cake decorating but it's loads of fun and I tell you what if you've got kids get them involved too because they will love doing this you want to make it even more interesting you could use a different type of nozzle on your food piping bag like serrated edge or a different shape we're keeping it nice and simple. So we've gone back to our purples and we're sort of going around full circle really. When you're done with that, we've gone down the side as well as on the top, we just stuck on our butterflies. Our lovely gold covered fondant butterflies. And there you have it. Pretty simple really. And I'd say very effective too. Dig in. Check out this really cool citrusy stamp cake. That's right, we are going to be using real fruit to make stamps with food colouring. How cool is that? Just get your basic vanilla cake or whichever cake you prefer, layer it with some buttercream icing, coat the outside in it too and smooth it over. 
Now we can have fun with some fondant. Get some icing sugar and sprinkle it on a chopping board and roll out your white fondant icing. Nice and thin, big enough to wrap around the entire outside of the cake. You can use some scissors to just snip off the excess. Push it down to perfect it. Then slice around with a cutter. That was easy, wasn't it? Time to decorate and get a lemon or an orange, whatever you prefer. Chop off one end and paint on some food colouring. We're using orange food colouring. You can use a little paintbrush to put that on. Or just dip it. And start stamping all around the sides. If you want, you can get even more colourful and use rainbow colours. We're sticking with orange for now. Then you can have more fun with fondant by making a fondant lemon and some leaves and stick those on the top for a finishing touch. Or use candies. What do you prefer? And there you have it. Very simple to do. And I tell you what, if you get the kids involved, they are going to have a ball doing this. Yum. Fancy having a go at this ultra cool illusion cake? Hmm, looks interesting, doesn't it? Come on, let's bring out the artist in you. Chocolate inside, you know. So we start with our basic chocolate cake, bought from the store or pre-made. A couple of layers of that with some buttercream icing in between and around the outside. Once that's smoothed over, we can start to decorate. We're piping on our pink ombre buttercream icing. As you can see, we've got varying shades from bright pink to pale pink to white at the top. We just splodge it on vertically in varying shades as we go around the cake. And then use a wide flat knife or spatula to just swipe the end each time before adding the next row. Do the same on the top of the cake, going from white around the edge and going darker and darker pink towards the middle. And there you have it. Little bit of patience required, but it's pretty easy, don't you think? And look at that, it looks amazing. And the best surprise of all is the fact that it is chocolate inside. Enjoy. Welcome to Yum Yum's fantastic coloured sugar cake. Look at that modern work of art and edible too. What more could you want? Right, let's make it. We get some sugar and add some blue food colouring. So we create blue sugar. We could do a few different shades of that, dark, light. Next, you get your vanilla cake. Add buttercream icing in between two layers. And then coat the entire outside too. Smooth it over with a flat knife or spatula. If you have a spinning plate, that makes it way easier. Chill your cake and then line out your sugar in three lines. We've got dark blue, light blue and white. Once your cake is set, you can roll it in your triple layered sugar. You get this wonderful effect. Bit more sugar on top. So basically, if you like sugar, you are going to love this recipe. And time to stick in some decorations. These are chocolate decorations and they are so easy to make. All you need is melted white chocolate and you can add your food colouring. We've done dark blue and light to match the sugar coating and add some sprinkles on and then let the chocolate set. Break it up into random shards and stick them in the cake. It's that easy. And doesn't it look fantastic? Well, the proof is in the pudding. So let's have a taste. Delish. Ooh, one of my favourites, candy surprise cake. I love this cake because it's got candies in it. Woohoo! We're going to start with some buttercream icing in food piping bags. Use loads of different colours, loads of food colouring. Just have a party with buttercream icing. We're going to layer a vanilla cake with the buttercream icing, but the clever thing is our layers in the middle are going to have a hole cut out. So we've got a lovely hole to pour in our candies. 
We're using the buttercream as a kind of glue. Put the final layer on top, which doesn't have a hole cut out, by the way, and coat the entire outside in buttercream. It's a buttercream dream. Smooth it over. Let's have fun now and decorate. Different serrated edge nozzles, flat ones, thin ones. And we can have a party. Decorate as you wish. Maybe you could do a theme. We're just doing lots of different shapes and flower-like patterns and seashell-like patterns and swirls. But what would you like to do? Maybe some zigzags, maybe polka dots. Maybe if it's for your love, you could do a heart-themed cake. Use your imagination. And whenever you've done your preferred design, dig in and the candies will fall out. Then it all goes in your tummy. <laughs> <laughs>